This is a video message to Story Booth. I know you guys tend to animate things that you usually do. You help young teenagers and help young adults. Well, I would like to tell my story at least. Just let this video be on there, please. I am going through a very depressing situation. There are people in my family, and people in my other family hate each other. There's a, a feud. I'm not going to mention names because I'd rather not. Let's say mom's family, my dad's family, me and my sister are between the feud. My mom's sisters, they dislike my dad so much because my dad's a coward and I'm doing a lot of things to help my mom, but he is doing it in his own way. He's praying to God and he's asking for forgiveness to help my father, to help my mother. But sadly, my aunts don't see it that way. They don't. They, we try, me and my sister try both times to explain to them, Dad is doing the best he can to help Mom out. We love Dad, and they keep seeing mean stuff about my father. I can't say what it was, but I'd rather not. So, Story Booth, I'm going through this a lot. I'm 20 years old, and I just moved out of my dad's apartment because it was about time for me to move out because I was about 28 when I moved. I'm, I am... I got eight. I am. I have HFA, high functional autism. Means I'm smart. Yes, I know what's happening around, but it's so confusing with the emotions I have. It's like it, it's hard. One moment I'm happy with my family, then the next day, my my mom and my dad they're like separated, not divorced or anything. He's she's just she's gone sick. And my father's gone sick. They both got sick. They're too sick to see each other now. And my aunts they don't realize it. The other day I had a conversation with my aunt Rose. Not Oops, sorry for that. With my aunt, who is my mom's twin sister, they both look alike, and well, she said a lot of mean things about my father. She didn't mean to do it intentionally, but she didn't realize it that that pain was hurting me because I am um, my father's daughter. I have most of my dad's talent. Yes, I have a talent for reading fast books and sewing, but I learned to sew in not from my mom. I watched her do it a couple of times, which is a very good thing. But I, but my great auntie Anna is the seamstress of my my dad's side of the family. I got my music, singing talents from him and computer in from my dad. And from my me and from my mom, reading and always try to take control of my battles. But sadly things are starting to get out of whack for me. My sister and I are on our own, working hard, and Dad's not feeling well, as neither is my mom. Our parents are the only ones sick. All of our cousins' parents, my uncles and uncles, they're all pretty much all happy together. And not sick or anything, besides my aunt, besides the aunt I said about. And the only aunt I could talk to about this is my Aunt M. But I'm not sure even if she'll even willing to see me, willing to listen to what I have to say, because I'm afraid that, that I will lose my family. And, and, it's difficult because we live all the way here, here in FL and in the other, other part of town. They live far, far away in Connecticut, New York. It, it, it's, it's very frustrating when you have families in so many locations. Like they don't know what's going on with us, and they think, and they think we're doing a great job. Or some of them think we're doing good. Some of them think we don't do very good because our mom is not doing so well anymore with her health. Neither is my father. He was overwhelmed by by taking care of, since my mom got really sick, he was overwhelmed by taking care of me. But then after that, I started growing up fast because I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm an adult, but I still have a mind of child. HFA, high function also means that I'm smart, but I have a child like mine still. I do the best as I can now because right now I live in the Ark Village. It's a peaceful place where all adults can be who they are, special ed who could be. Because I'm able to sew and relax now and able to make videos like these. But story booths. If you want to make this a new video, you can go ahead because I really want my story to be told. Because if there are people out there who have parents who are sick and relatives who don't understand what you're going through, then that's alright. They need to know this story because it will help them. And sadly, I must forget about my family from the past because they did amazing things. Sure, they raised me and taught me to be good and everything. But they don't know what's going on in the world when I'm here in Florida. They don't get it. Me and, me and Alexis have been on our own for a year now without any help from them. They, they choose to send some love and prayers, but they need to send more to prove it. I didn't mean like prove it. I mean like, you know, I sometimes wish that Rose, sorry, 
and sadly, my um, my aunt doesn't get along with my dad's sisters. The only relative she gets along with my uh, dad's side of the family is my great aunt Deanna, and she's my grandma's sister, which they're pretty awesome. Great aunt Deanna is like really smart and really seamstress. She's amazing. She was into like old-fashioned stuff like I was, and I partly was raised by her. She was a wonderful woman, and my aunt Rose adores her very much. As for my dad's sisters, not really. So, our grito, our chief family is small. My dad's side of me is growing smaller. As for my mom's side, it's kind of like a thousand now. So, story growth on YouTube, if you see this video, please show it to the world. Let them tell my story of how a doll like me can have so much stress, so much worry over small stuff. It gets so big, it turns into a giant snowball. It's like, I'm on my own. The other side, the only one I can count on is my sister now because we're on our own. But also, we're not really alone either. We have the Arca Village. Arca Village has been helping me. They've been giving me a lot of things. And the hospice has been pretty much good with my sister. And I've been doing really well with my boyfriend. He and I are romantically in love. We love each other. And his family's coming from Australia across the world to see me next May. And I would love it if both my family, my mom's side and my dad's family, would come together just to meet them. But sadly, that'll never happen because I know my mom's family, they don't, well, it's not all of them. It's just the aunts. The aunts are the ones. They're they're the figureheads. They're the they're the upper crush of our family. They're the ones who say the yes and no's and all that. They're the ones who get everyone to listen. As for my dad's sisters, not so much. But I still love them. I still love my family. It's just I have a new family now. The Ark Village, they've been wonderful. And then there's of course Jacob, my boyfriend. Which he's made me very happy because his mom is understanding and it's like Everything's wonderful, but it's just been difficult trying to realize my life. Last year in the past, I was very unhappy because I ate a lot of food. I constantly stayed inside because I had to take care of my mom, and same thing with last year with dad. But I was able to get out more. I was able to get out and have fun and enjoy it. Now I can here. My goal is to make dresses, I mean, to be a seamstress. It makes things for people like quilts and dolls because I've been making quilts for my uh, for Chris for my cousin's babies this year and they are growing up so beautiful. So story booth, story booth, story booth. If you're out there, please put my story up. That's all I have to say. Remember, guys, you may be far away from your family, but you're gonna have a new family, and it's always in the heart. They're always in the heart, right here, in the heart. So have a happy Halloween. I know I usually do a Halloween video. I did one earlier today, night before Christmas. Go check it out. So, adios and happy Halloween. Remember, guys, family is always there by the heart. Not far, but here. Good night, guys.